Ever felt stuck with old ways of discipline that just don't cut it anymore? Or curious about guiding kids with heaps of empathy and respect in today's fast-paced world? You've hit the jackpot! Hey, loving viewers, we've got a special treat for you today. 17 ways to implement positive discipline with real-life scenarios. We're going all in on positive discipline, a fab approach that's all about fostering happy, responsible, and respectful vibes. From tackling toy sharing issues to bedtime routines, and from schoolwork snags to sibling squabbles, we're unveiling the magic of positive discipline in real life action. Gear up to flip the script on discipline, transforming every hiccup into an opportunity for growth and stronger bonds. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay on top of our latest videos. Now let's jump into positive discipline, a super cool way to help kids grow up with heaps of empathy, understanding, and respect for each other. Here are some real life scenarios to show you how it's done, focusing on building those all important life skills. Scenario one, not wanting to share toys. Old school way, telling them to share right now, which might just make them mad or stubborn. Positive discipline way, understand how they feel and suggest taking turns. Looks like you're really into that toy. How about we use a timer to share turns? What do you think? It teaches them to care about others' feelings and negotiate sharing. Scenario two, bedtime battles. Old school way, just telling them to go to bed, leading to protests or tears. Positive discipline way, let them help plan bedtime. What story do you want tonight? Do you want to draw before or after brushing teeth? It shows you value their ideas and helps them learn to make decisions. Scenario three, ignoring homework. Old school way, grounding them for not doing homework, which doesn't really solve the problem. Positive discipline way, talk about what's making homework hard. Homework seems tough lately. What's up? How can we make it better? It encourages problem solving and self-motivation. Scenario four, fibbing about something. Old school way, getting mad right away, which might scare them from telling the truth next time. Positive discipline way, make it safe to be honest and talk about why trust is key. Feels like there's more to this. Let's trust each other. What happened? It teaches honesty and owning up to actions. Scenario five, cutting into adult talk. Old school way, scolding for interrupting without showing them how to do it politely. Positive discipline way, teach a polite signal for when they want to speak. Put your hand on my arm and I'll touch yours back to show I've seen you, okay? It's about patience and respectful ways to communicate. Scenario seis, sibling squabbles. Old school way, just separating them or telling one off without getting to the heart of the matter. Positive discipline way, after cooling off, help them share their feelings and needs. Let's talk about feelings and how to tell each other when we're upset, okay? It's all about understanding emotions and solving conflicts together. Scenario sette, dodging chores. Old school way, demanding chores get done, which might just cause more grumbles. Positive discipline way, have a team chat about helping out at home. How can we all chip in? What chores do you like? Let's make it fun. It's about feeling responsible and working together. Scenario eight, meltdown in the store. Old school way, feeling embarrassed and maybe punishing them later, which can make things worse. Positive discipline way, see why they're upset and give them choices. I know you're sad about the toy. Want to help pick snacks or breakfast cereal? It's about feeling in control and making decisions. Scenario nine, arguing over screen time. Old school way, setting screen time rules without their say, leading to sneaky behavior or fights. Positive discipline way, make screen time rules together. What's a fair screen time plan? What should we do before screen time? It's about managing time and being disciplined. Scenario 10, not wanting new foods. Old school way, forcing them to eat new things, making mealtime stressful. Positive discipline way, get them involved in cooking and choosing new foods to try. Wanna cook with me? Which of these new foods shall we try? It respects their choices and encourages trying new things. Scenario 11, too many distractions during homework time. Old way, getting told off for not focusing, which doesn't really help you figure out why it's happening. Positive way, teaming up to make homework less of a headache. Homework time seems a bit tricky, huh? What if we make a special spot where you can really focus? What do you think would help? This is all about finding solutions and knowing yourself better. Scenario 12, keeping things bottled up. Old way, being pushed to spill the beans, which might just make you clam up more. Positive way, building trust and making it okay to talk when you're ready. You seem a little down. Just so you know, I'm here to chat, or if you'd rather talk to someone else, that's cool too. 
How can I be there for you? This makes sure you feel safe and supported no matter what. Scenario 13, not wanting to go to school or nursery. Old way, ignoring how you feel or insisting you go anyway, which could make you dread it even more. Positive way, having a heart to heart about school or nursery blues. School's been tough lately, hasn't it? Tell me what's up. Maybe we can figure out something together like chatting with your teacher or tweaking our morning routine. It's about understanding and teamwork. Scenario 14, interrupting during work calls. Old way, getting frustrated or telling you off without showing you how to wait your turn. Positive way, setting up a secret code for, I'm busy, but you're still important. How about if I'm on a call, we have a sign that means I'll be with you soon. And maybe you can think of some stuff we can talk about or do after. This teaches patience and respect while making sure you know you're heard. Scenario 15, getting upset over criticism. Old way, responding with more criticism or punishment, which doesn't really solve anything. Positive way, showing how to handle tough feedback. Hearing tough stuff can be really hard. Let's figure out a way to share how we're feeling without getting upset. What do you think? It's about learning to communicate in a kind way and bounce back. Scenario 16, hard time sharing. What's on your mind? Old way, pressuring you to open up, which might make you shut down more. Positive way, sharing my own feelings to show it's okay to talk. You know, I get upset or worried sometimes too. Talking about it helps. Want to try sharing one small thing that made your day, good or bad. This gently encourages opening up in a comfy setting. Scenario 17, feeling weird about a new sibling. Old way, demanding you be happy or accepting right away, which could stir up jealousy or competition. Positive way, understanding it's a big change and involving you in the process. A new sibling is a huge deal. How do you feel about it? Let's find ways for you to help out and make sure we have special time just for us. This helps you feel valued and part of the change. Nurturing through positive discipline. All these stories shine a light on how positive discipline isn't just a way to avoid getting in trouble, it's about connecting, understanding, and growing together. By talking things out, making choices within certain limits, and showing how to behave, positive discipline creates a space where you're respected, understood, and ready to become your best self. If you're looking for a positive and fun place to send your little ones, check out our website at wpurplebeesdaynursery.com. You can also visit our information site on www.purplebeeshildcare.com. Thanks for watching. And until next time, enjoy every moment with your children.